Okay then, gang, so now we can click on individual books to edit them, whereby we swap the book content for an edit form. And then we can go ahead and change these values. But when we click on confirm, well, nothing happens, right? So the next thing we need to do is trigger a put request, which is to update an item when we submit this form, when we click on confirm. Now that put request is then gonna be handled on the back end by updating the book in the data array and then sending back the original book template with that new book data to replace this form again. So let's give this a try. So first of all, let's make the put request from the form by using this hx put attribute on the form tag. And remember the default trigger on a form is the submit event. Now the path for this put request is gonna be forward slash books and then forward slash, and then the ID of the book we're editing. Um, we can access that because we have the book as an argument. So we'll come back to this later and we're gonna add a target for this when we get a response and also a swap strategy for when we get that HTML back, right? But for now, what we're gonna do is flesh out the handler function for this route in the app.js file. So I'm gonna create this just below this delete request and above the other get request because when we're dealing with book resources, I kinda of wanna keep them all together. So we're gonna say app and then this is gonna to be to respond to a put request, so app.put. The route path is gonna be forward slash books forward slash and colon ID to denote a route parameter for the ID. Then we need a function to handle this request which also takes in the request and response arguments. Okay, so now inside this put request, we first of all want to get the ID and also the title and the author from the field, uh, from the input fields. So if we go to the edit form, we can see we have these names, title and author, and whenever we send a put request or a post request from a form, it attaches these values to the request body. So we can access those values in the inputs. So we can grab them right here by using a bit of destructuring and saying const and then title and author, which is the name of those fields and setting this equal to request.body. We did something really similar for the post request up here. We grabbed the title and author from the request body. Okay, so we have those things. We also need the ID and that comes from the route parameters. So we can say const and then this is gonna be the ID, again, destructuring is equal to request.params. All right then. So after we've done that, we want to create an object that represents a book based on these things. So I'm gonna say const, you can call it new book or updated book, whatever you prefer, call it new book. Probably should be called updated book to be honest, but let's create an object where we have the title, we also have the author, and we also have the ID. So they are the three fields inside each book, right? So we're creating that object and we have that new book. Now, what we want to do is not just add this book to the data, to this array, because then we're gonna have the original version of this book that we're editing and the edited version of the book. We want to replace the book we're editing, right? So let's first of all find the index of that book. And we'll do that by saying const idx is equal to books underscore data and then dot find index. And this finds us the index of a book. We've actually done this before right here. So we're gonna do exactly the same. So I can just grab that and paste it in here. So we're saying find us the index of the book where that book ID is equal to the ID that we have right here that we're making the request for. All right, so we have the index of the book and that is the book we want to update. So now we can say books underscore data and then pass in that index and we're gonna set it equal to the new book. So we're updating that book object in the array. Okay then, so now we just need to send a response back to the browser, but what do we wanna send exactly? Well, when we submit the form and update the book, we should send back the single book template for the book we've just updated and then that's gonna replace the form. So let's invoke the create book template and pass in that new book to send the template back. Now, currently, if we do this, then what's gonna to happen to the HTML response in the browser? Well, on the form, if we take a look, we've not specified a target or a swap strategy. So the default behavior is that the target is the current element, the form that triggered the request, 
and the inner HTML is the stuff that gets swapped by default. Now we don't want that. Instead, we want to set the target to be the closest li tag because we need to replace the whole li tag that this form is in. And for hx swap, we need to say outer HTML so that the whole li tag, including the li tag itself, gets replaced and not just its inner content. Because when we respond with the book template, the li tag is included within that book template. All right. All right. So hopefully now all of this should work. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's click on one of these. We see the form. Let's just add any old junk on the end of it. I'm going to confirm this. Hopefully, we'll see the original book template, but with these new values, which we do. Awesome. Let's get rid of those again because don't want that junk on the end of it. Brandon Sanderson, confirm. Yep, all working. 